have differing standards of artistic excellence. See abstract art versus classic. Um, is there only one standard art beauty or has God designed us to value beauty differently? I think that's a really great question. I think that gets to the heart of some of our modern issues with uh, this kind of relativistic, you know, nothing is, nothing is, uh, you know, itself, it's, it's all up to interpretation. It's all kind of muddled in the middle. Um, and at this point, I think that's, that's part of the reason why art stopped being emphasized in the way that it was, uh, is that it became something that isn't, it doesn't draw us into a unity. It, it, it can be disputable. It's, it, you know, there's always these idiosyncrasies. And I think that's what it is, is the same thing that Dale's asking you a great question. It's the same thing that I think was the positive impact of the Protestant church to bring out the emphasis of the individual. That's the same disadvantage that brought about the breakdown of the art world is the emphasis on the individual, on the detail, on the idiosyncrasy, the right nowness of something. Art used to be a way of condensing vast arrays of reality down into something really small, really, you that's what an icon is, to be honest with you. We In the modern world, in the digital age, we're using this language for something completely different. On my desktop, not my real desktop, but the digital one I have on a screen, on that desktop, I have a folder, not a real folder. It's just a picture of a folder that represents what folders actually do, right? And what we call it is an icon. An icon is just this condensation, this distillation of all this information inside down to this little thing. You see the thing and you're like, I know what's in there. But if you don't, then you click on it and expands. You see all this idiosyncrasy. I think the reason why we can't have just the idiosyncrasy outside of a standard where there's that thing, it can't be condensed back down. Beauty is, can be iconic. It can be this thing. It has, it is itself, right? But then there also is this fractal nature where you can see like in the picture that I, that I brought up of a dying house with living walls, it's very weird, right? But you can see beauty in there. And yet there's somebody with perhaps their idiosyncrasy or their cynicism would look at that and say, well, that used to be beautiful, but now it's just wrecked. Mm -hmm. Right. I think that that, that, that drawing out of the individual opinion and raising it to the standard, I think the individual opinion isn't the standard. I think the individual opinion is our privilege, but it isn't the standard. And I can be wrong about what's beautiful. I really do think that. I don't think that what's beautiful can be weighed and measured in an empirical scientific sort of way. Um, but I don't think that me means that it isn't something that is, let's say, more objective than not. Um, what, do you, what do you guys think?